All right, another Friday, another live stream. How's it going, guys? Welcome to another Friday live stream with me, your host, Bezad, here from Negative Famous Denim head, Headquarters uh, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Thanks for joining, everybody. I'm going to give the, uh, the room a minute or two to populate here. How's everybody doing? Everybody having a good week? Any unbranded jackets? Um, yes. We, we, we make unbranded jackets. Um, but actually, today I have uh, some, some very good announcements for all of you guys. Um, and, that, and, it, and it does refer to, to denim jackets. And that is um, that going forward, we will be adding pockets to all of our denim jackets. Um, I think I mentioned that a little bit last week, but it is a, a full on uh, uh, thing now. So we are switching up all of our fall production to include pockets. Um, uh, so all of our fall production is going to include uh, pockets. Uh, we are updating our core collection. Uh, the core collection is uh we so for now we'll have uh we, we have the existing uh jacket that uh I'll, may, maybe i'll we'll call it the classic denim jacket without the pockets and then we'll have the revised denim jackets with the pockets and they will we, we're going to sell them both uh so we're going to carry both models for a while um and the uh the first production of left hand twill denim jackets uh has just been put in so that's going to start uh we'll probably have them before the summer um so that's what's going on. And I also got an approval for uh, something else that uh, you guys will see first, firsthand. Nobody else has seen this before. And uh, I can finally show it to you guys because I have the approval. And this is part of the Dragon Ball Z collection. Uh, I hope you guys like surprises. Um, and that is... Sorry, a little bit of a reflection here. Goku denim jacket. So the Goku denim jacket is confirmed. You've got the Dragon Ball button here. You've got the embroidery and you've got the pockets. So this is the one thing that I really wanted to show off to everybody because my first sample of a jacket of this type is is, is this Goku jacket actually. So I'm going to try it on for you guys. Um, show you what it looks like. Actually, I'll, I'll show you some of the details first. So you've got that outside pocket, which I love it because we added this panel here. So it's nice and stealthy. So you've got a nice uh, pocket on the outside, but you don't see, uh, you know, you don't have that welt that I, I've always complained about on the outside here. Uh, and then on the inside, you also have an uh, inside pocket. So we're going crazy with the pockets. You, you went from no side pockets to uh, two side pockets and two inside pockets. So um, I'm very happy about that. And I'm happy that we could do it in a way that uh, doesn't compromise the look of the jacket by adding, uh, you know, those welts. Um, and uh, I think it looks pretty damn good. Oh, One-handed try on over here. So that's your jacket, that's your pocket. Everybody should be nice and happy now. Making famous denim jackets going forward, they've got your pockets. Or they've got pockets for you. They've got your pockets. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. It's been a long week, guys. It's always been a long week by the time uh, I get to you guys. So uh, I hope you appreciate. Uh, hope you appreciate the changes because I'm uh, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do that for you guys. Mickey, is that you? I love Mickey Mouse, by the way. In the summertime, I wear a lot of Mickey Mouse t-shirts. Um, okay, I think I missed a couple of questions, uh, so I'm gonna try and read those. Do you. All do you have a piccolo jean? We don't have a piccolo jean. Um, we have a cell jean, which would be sim similar colors. Um, uh, uh, somebody says that we make the best denim out there. Thank you very much. Um, a lot of waves and hellos. Okay, wave hellos. All right. So uh, if I missed your question, I'm sorry about that. Uh, also, um, I'm for anybody who's been uh, messaging me, uh, like sending me uh, direct messages on Instagram, uh, I've been a little bit uh, behind on responding to those 
Um, don't. Uh, anyhow, I, I'm just. It, it's not not personal or anything like that. It's just I get a lot of messages, and uh, I, I sometimes I see that I haven't responded to somebody, and they've been waiting, and it's just. You know, often maybe sometimes when I'm reading those things, it's like not a good time for me to be like thinking about answers. So I, I like you know mark them unread, and I, I and I think I'm gonna get back to them later, and I just end up doing, and I, I end up not doing it. So uh, if I don't answer your question, very sorry. Um, if you if you really want your answers quest, questions answered, uh, send me another question, or uh, or find me here on the live stream, and then uh, I, I have no cho- I'm in front of you, so I have no choice but to answer your question right then and there, so uh, so that's that. Um, what jacket is that? So I, I guess somebody's tuning in a little bit late, so just to let you know that this is the brand new denim jacket, uh, it's hard to show the detail off here, there we go, this is the new Goku denim jacket, part of the Dragon Ball Z collection, coming out this fall, winter, and pockets. We've got pockets. We've got pockets on the outside. We've got pockets on the inside right here. Sorry, it's hard to show you that, but uh, there it is. There's a pocket. So we've got more pockets on our denim jackets coming. Um, there will be a price uh, up, up, upgrade upgrade and price nudge with the denim jackets um i don't know offhand what they are might be like 20 or 25 bucks uh to add these pockets on so uh expect a, a slight price increase on the denim jackets but i think uh, everybody's gonna find that it's much more worth it not only do you have the outside pockets but you have the inside pockets as well so uh so yeah uh, somebody says give my uh camera lens a quick wipe i will I will do that if it's not looking so great for you. It could also be my Wi-Fi in here. It's not so great um, here in the office, but I'm gonna wipe up the camera. Is that better? I hope it is. Um, what's the weight of the jacket? This is a 12 and a half ounce uh, denim. Um, yeah, okay, what else do we got here? Um, somebody's asking for more collabs pockets on Lord of Nep as well. We are planning on it. Yes, all of our fall production jackets will have uh, pockets just like this. So this is our new silhouette that we will be going forward with. Um, do you have any washed option uh, for a Goku jacket? Washed? Uh, well, we don't pre-wash any of our jeans. We sell them raw so that you can destroy them yourselves. Um, okay. Uh, black weft, a uh, left hand twill, and fall elephants, please. Okay, so you want to see those? Let me show you those right now, just to give you a little preview of fall, winter. Um, actually, I have, I, I, uh, I was showing them last week. So we've got the elephant. dropping stuff around here so we've got the elephant it's the elephant eight 22 ounce super heavyweight with supima cotton nice and thick dark dark indigo color sorry the color is a little washed out in this room these, these lights are a little bright um it makes the denim look really good, uh, you know, in person, but uh, on camera, it's like blowing it out a little bit. Uh, you've got the uh, rough out leather patch. And then we also have the faded version here as well. I showed this off last week. So uh, if you tuned into last week's live stream, you saw it. I also uploaded last week's video on YouTube, so you can definitely check this out uh, there as well. Um, and you guys should all be subscribed to our YouTube channel by now. Um, we are working on uh, on uh, finding uh, a content creator, a full time, you know, person to help me uh, create videos, um, so that we can have uh, more videos, tutorials, uh, you know, product knowledge, just denim knowledge videos, that type of stuff. Uh, so expect to see more and more content uh, on that front. Um, in the near future, I want to, you know, cater it like a, like, you know, a, a fun channel just to build more community, uh, more raw denim community out there. So, um, 
subscribe if you haven't already subscribed uh the channel will get more populated with videos uh by the end of the year i think we're gonna have uh you know pretty regular videos coming out um i'm seeing if i have a fun denim to show you guys is this it that's not it that is fun but that's not what i'm looking for sorry guys um don't have it on hand uh okay let me show you guys some fun because that's what i do okay so last week i showed you guys the elephant i showed you guys the, the lord of nep this week i'm gonna make you guys really excited for a product and that is i've got the emperor of slub worn in to show you this is a, a world's first you guys are only going to see it here so you want to see what some badass indigo jeans fade into here we have the emperor of slub super dark i want to try and move around maybe the light's better on the other side of this table here Super blown out. Sorry, guys. I really apologize for the color here. It's not amazing. Uh, maybe I need a better camera. I'm not really sure. Um, so this is the 22 ounce super heavy. This is 23 ounce Emperor of Slub. Dark indigo. Navy interior. This is the Made in Canada sample, by the way, guys. We will be making this particular jean in Japan. So some of the details are going to change. Like, we're going to have contrast stitching instead of the tonal stitching. The hardware will be uh, our Made in Japan hardware. Um, we're actually developing uh, some new hardware for it right now so that it's all black. Um, the, the current Made in Japan hardware is all uh, uh, silver color. So uh, we're, we're, we're having that all made up right now. But you can see that this is just some incredibly slubby denim true blue just if you love tonal denim that is indigo by navy you're gonna really love what they turn into and that is this right here check out the color tone here unbelievable Look at the size of the slub here. Just they're huge. Whenever I have my hand on the camera, it seems to make the color look a little bit better. Or in, in the camera sight, that is. What is this? This is the Emperor of Slub. After where? Raw? Worn. So last week I showed off the Lord of Nep. This is the Emperor of Slub. I think, man, this is this is the most beautiful denim uh, we've got going right now, and I think it's maybe the most beautiful denim out there. Look at the just the variation of blue, so much. It's electric, electric in tone, crazy variations. You've got a lot of vertical fading as well. So what somebody's asking, what's the difference between the King of Slub and the Emperor of Slub? King of Slub is Indigo Warp, White Weft. Emperor of Slub is Indigo Warp, Navy Weft. So the weft doesn't fade so much. It's a, it's a permanent navy dye. The leather patch is cooked. 
Although for production, this is going to be the Made in Japan leather patch. And we're actually doing a new leather. Uh, we're not going to use the natural tan uh, like we usually do on our Made in Japan jeans. Uh, we've got a special leather coming up for that as well. So we're going to be even upgrading the leather patch on this jean. It's really going to be the Rolls Royce. We're not really cutting any corners on the production of this next model. <laughs> They're going to be expensive, but uh, they're going to be worth every penny. So uh, we're, we're really making sure that we give you everything we possibly can for the price. How many ounces? This is 23 ounce. Get some of that denim sound. All right. Um, back to some questions. Uh, same price as the King of Subs. They will be more expensive. Uh, they will be more expensive, that's for sure. Uh, because they are made in Japan, and you've got the uh, the double dyed. You've got the warp and the weft dyed. Uh, we've got new hardware coming. We've got new leather patch coming. There, there, there's a lot of new. There's a lot of investment in this jean as well. Uh, so the price is going is going to match that. Um, how do the indigo times navy dye fade compared to the king of slub? Looks quite similar to the worn samples of king of slub. Uh, well, I mean, they're much darker in tone. I don't have that worn king of slub uh, on hand anymore. Um, otherwise, I would show you. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the king of slub looks like a more of a traditional denim because of that white weft. So that white comes through the front face of the fabric. Here, you don't really have that. Uh, the, on, the only white you see is from the warp, uh, the warp yarns fading down to the white core of the yarn. But the undertone, see, in between the grain, it's still very, very dark. All right. Um, what jeans am I wearing for the summer? Uh, I'm wearing, uh, right now, I'm wearing uh, Strong Guy. Uh, this is the uh, Nightshade Stretch Selvage. Uh, I've been wearing these for a while. Uh, this is going to be my summer pair. Um, that and the Groovy Guy uh, Left Hand Twill. I know I'm the, I, I, I wear all the, all the, the weird uh, fits that we make, but I really like them. And uh, I like wider leg jeans, especially for the summertime. Um, it gives you a lot of room, um, and well, a lot of room to breathe. Not only a lot of room to move around, but a lot of room to breathe as well. And uh, I just like the silhouette. I mean, it's still a, a, a silhouette that we're, 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 we're gaining in popularity. And I think with a little bit more time and uh, a few more people on the forums and things like that wearing them, you'll start to see uh, more and more people adopting them. You do see a lot of like kind of skate style um, dudes wearing these and a lot of streetwear with the wide legs kind of stuff uh, or like avant-garde kind of fashion forward types out there. Um, I just like them because, you know, they're they're comfortable and uh, I, they're to me they're more vintage style than anything else, you know, kind of a, a looser fit. So I really like that look. Um, and uh, comfort is, is key for me. Um, have you gotten the Elephant of Slub MIJ sample in yet? Or oh, sorry, EOS, Emperor of Slub. I did, but uh, I sent the sample back to the factory, so I don't have it on hand uh, anymore. Um, how long have these been worn? Um, if somebody's asking about the sample here, these were pre-processed for us, so they actually haven't been worn. They were, uh, they were artificially uh, distressed for us. Um... Could you please post the pics on Instagram of this faded pair on the Nebby one too you showed last time? Uh, yes, I did take, I have to post those. Uh, I took some great photos um, uh, and I, I will post them uh, either tonight or this weekend. Uh, uh, sorry, I just, I've been, I've been very busy. Um, uh, two different color, Converse shoes looking good. I do like mixing my Converse sneakers. Um, wide legs for life. You're wearing the Elephant 8 jacket. Uh, this is not the Elephant 8 jacket for those of you joining right now. This is the brand new, boom, Goku denim jacket that is uh, a new addition to the Dragon Ball collection coming out this fall. So uh, we do have a denim jacket out there for all you guys uh, in the Goku orange weft. Uh, uh, Super Saiyan Selvage, and for those of you who are joining right now who didn't see, we also have added 
pockets to our denim jacket. So not only do we have the pockets on the outside, we also have pockets on the inside here so you can have uh, you can carry all your stuff. Um, and what I would like to show you guys also is that the pockets are kind of hidden, right? So they're, they're not like a welt pocket like you see on a lot of trucker jackets. We actually added this extra panel here and uh, the pocket is kind of like this stealthy pocket on the side which I really like. And there's like a bit of a gap in the bottom here as well so uh, stuff doesn't slide out so easily so you can have your phone or your keys and it's going to be nice in there nice and securely. And of course you've got that bucket pocket uh, uh, inside. Uh, hold on, I'm just trying to change the camera around. The bucket pocket on the inside so you can uh, store all, all kinds of other things. You know, whatever you want. Uh, yeah, so uh, lots and lots of pockets. We went from just two pockets, now you've got six pockets. I, I think that's a pretty good upgrade. Um, okay, so uh, what else do we got here? Um, Ooh, uh, how often do you wash or any tips on how to distress more? Uh, I, how often do I wash? I wash my jeans after they've been like pretty beat up. Uh, I say maybe after they've seen like six to eight months of wear. After that, I start washing them like every maybe four weeks, three weeks. I, I wash them pretty regularly um, because I like to get them to be really, really faded. Uh, sometimes even add a little bit of bleach uh, to the wash to just kind of, you know, uh, speed up that, that fading process a little bit as well. So uh, I'm pretty experimental at this point because I've, I've kind of been wearing raw jeans for a long time and I, I just – Kind of don't care what happens to them afterwards because I'll wear them. whether or not I I think they look uh, authentic or not. I, I I they're still my jeans and you know my experiments with my jeans still represent my lifestyle. So uh, I wear them comfortably and proudly. So uh, I, I I have a lot of fun with it at this point. Um, but uh, I mean a lot of people they kind of want to just get that first pair or like that really authentic. My quote authentic. I don't know. Uh, I guess we could debate that. Uh, uh, looking faded jean. You know, in that case, wear them hard as long as you can. Avoid washing them for as long as you can. And uh, when they're when they're really disgusting, that's probably about the time when they they could use a wash. You know, I like to say they they deserve a wash when the the lightest part of the jean has a lot of contrast compared to the darkest part of the jean. That is to say, like you know where your whiskers are are very very noticeable. Um, you know, even in, in regular daylight. See, my knee's coming along, like, really nicely. My my hips over here, um, you know, they could use a little bit more work. The phone is faded out, you know, kind of nicely. But uh, I think a couple more weeks uh, before these are going to need a wash. Um, so uh, mine aren't uh, quite there yet. Um, does the denim fade to the web collar? Example, do the M visons fade to purple? No, the denim will always fade to the warp core color. Um, so it's the warp, the outside of the denim, which is what determines what color the jeans fade to. So if you look at, say, our green core denim, that's a dark indigo denim with a green core. The center of the yarn is green. That denim fades to green. So I've got a pair right here. This is the green core. You can see that. Um, I don't have the uh, not faded version, but, uh, you know, it'll look something like this to start. And then it fades to something like this. Whereas, you know, here's... Another example, uh, you've got the Frankenstein denim, so dark indigo exterior, white, or sorry, beige interior, so you see that it's beige, here you see it's faded to light blue, but the beige, you can see it come through on the fabric, so it shows through the front face of the fabric, but it's not what the color, it's not the color that it turns to. Whereas a core denim, that's what color it changes. This has a white core yarn, so the denim fades mostly to white, and you have a little bit of that beige kind of undertone that you see here, or like through the creases. Um, what fit is most like a straight cut? I would say Super Guy. Super Guy is uh, a, it, it's a, it's a slight taper, not a very aggressive taper at all. Um, our jeans weird, easy, and, uh, and easy guy's a sharp taper, whereas weird guy and super guy are, are kind of gradual tapers. The, the strong guy is a wide leg, straight leg. So it's a pure straight leg, no, no tapering at all, but, uh, it's wide from the thigh down. Um, do you ever fit, uh, respond to fit comments from Reddit? Uh, you, uh, you promised about the fact that you don't really, 
uh, sorry, it's hard to read this question. Do you ever respond to the fit comments from Reddit? Uh, you promised about the fact you don't really do a proper taper to like 6.5. Um, do I respond to the fit comments from Reddit? Uh, I respond to many comments from Reddit. Um, I respond to criticisms from Reddit, and I and I accept criticisms from Reddit. I'm, I'm always I've always got my ear to the ground there. Um, I don't really do a proper uh, taper to like six point five. Um, well, it, we don't taper really beyond that because uh, I think after that it gets kind of difficult to get your foot through, uh, you know, the jeans. Um, some people, you know, they want that super ankle tight look, but, you know, whenever you're dealing with jeans like that, oftentimes it's with stretch denim, like with a lot of stretch. So, you know, you can put your foot through there, but, uh, when it comes to hundred percent cotton, there comes a point where you just can't get that ankle, that, that leg opening so small that it hugs your ankle and you're supposed to get your foot through it. So, there, there is a little bit of that, uh, you know, some people, they try their best and they do their, their own uh, home alterations or they bring it to a tailor shop to, to, to do. But, you know, um, sometimes you see some people screw that up. Um, Frankenstein's uh, definitely didn't get enough love, notoriety, media coverage. Um, I mean, we try to do our best, um, admittedly. And uh, this is probably why, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of... We, why? Well, this is the reason why we want to really expand our uh, our presence on uh, uh, you know things like YouTube. Uh, is that like we're 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 very good at making product and we're good at telling stories here on Instagram, um, but we need to be better at it. And uh, so that's what the YouTube channel is for. We're able to create videos about our newest products and then you know our customers, our wholesale partners, our retail partners. Um, you know, they could take those same videos, share it with their communities, share it with their customers, you know, our customers here, our fans here on, 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 on Instagram and YouTube and things like that. They can watch those videos. They can share those videos. They can tell those stories themselves. You know, I want, I don't really rely on media coverage so much. Um, I mean, I could, this is another thing I could go on about for a long time, but you know, these, these blogs and, you know, magazines and things like that. You know, nobody really writes an article for free. Um, some do, some don't. It depends if you're the flavor of the week or not. But uh, oftentimes, it's a lot of sponsored content that goes on there. And we're not the kind of company that pays for press. Um, and I, I, in fact, I think it's kind of disingenuous to pay for press um, because you're just paying for an advertisement. I think there's a lot of lines that are blurred in that world, especially now. Um, you know, back in the day, you know, you opened up a magazine and you saw a great article about a brand and then you saw, you know, a ton of ads from that brand of the magazine. You kind of understood why that article was written so, so, not, so eloqu eloquently or so, not, so, you know, why they got a lot of good press. Uh, but now you don't really know why there's so much hype behind certain brands or, you know, a, a lot of it is also clickbait. You know, people click on certain types of stories, uh, but they also have ads. Uh, you know, throughout their, their website. So there's a, there's a lot to the way that, um, you know, the fashion media is run now. And I don't like to play I, in that world. Um, I'd rather just talk to you guys directly. Uh, let you guys, you know, if you want to tell your friends about us or, you know, spread the, you know, build, help build the raw denim community at large. That's more what I'm into. Um, I think it's more honest this way. And, you know, I could speak to you guys directly. And uh, when we create new videos about product, um, you know, we're, we're going to show it to you guys. And, uh, you know, if you, you guys can share it if you want, you don't have to. Uh, or, you know, you can comment at it. And we, we like to hear your, your, your views on that kind of stuff. So um, I think for us, it's more important to just be, be direct with our customers rather than relying on some media agency to, you know, push our narrative. I, I, I'm not so interested in that. Anyways, that was a little bit of a rant. Uh, um, what is skinnier, weird guy or super guy? Super guy. Um, I have a Frankenstein jacket. It looks so good. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I would like to see uh, your progress on that. So, and like with anybody who who has our products, be sure to uh, you know 
uh, post your progress pics online and uh, tag us, and I, I share those photos of the community so they can see. Because I know there's people out there who are going to ask, hey, what does a Frankenstein denim look like when it's faded? Or Frankenstein jacket? You know, by, by tagging us, people b will be able to go through that kind of stuff and see for themselves. Um, is there a black denim jacket with pockets set for release this fall? There is. So the solid black selvage denim jacket, uh, the next production run of it, we will have the, the pockets that you see here on that. Um, will the trunks jacket be con uh, constructed with tonal or black thread? It will be with uh, black thread, yeah, so, to so tonal. Um, what pair has the widest leg opening besides groovy or strong guy? Uh, weird guy. Yeah, weird guy. Um, have you ever made a purple core jean? Not yet. We're working on, like, we've actually started development on, like, a new, a more uh, uh, color core options. Uh, so uh, you, you can expect uh, purple in the uh, in the future. Um, any workman fades? I haven't, I haven't had any of those yet, no. Um, uh... By not so. How do we avoid fading? Uh, wear your jeans not as hard um, and and not as often. Um, we also have some no fade denim. I don't know if we're sold out of them or not yet. But uh, we did a reactive dye no fade denim. They, they, you got to check that day in Yoko, and those ones will keep their uh, keep their color. Um, any chance of an easy guy? Uh, any chance Easy Guy Fit will get a 34-inch inseam? There is a chance it will happen. Um, I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, sorry, I know, like, I wish I could just, like, snap my fingers and make things happen. Um, it's A lot of it also has to do with, like, our, our production uh, time because our, our, our factory is pretty much full capacity. So slipping even, like, small projects here and there, like... All it does is delay something else, and I try not to delay anything, um, because especially if it's new product or seasonal product. Um, and if we're like replenishing our core product, the reason why we're replenishing it is because we're low. So I don't want to like push that out of the way either. So it's kind of hard to like just find exactly the right uh, a slot to put in, uh, new small projects in. Um, uh, do you prefer high contrast or low contrast fades better? Um, I, I think visually I prefer high contrast fades better, um, but I like it when the denim is basically like sky blue. Like I really, my aim always is to get the jeans to go from like indigo almost black to that super sky blue bleached out color. So, uh, you know, that takes many, many years and a lot of washing to get to that point. But uh, for me, it's about achieving that look on my own. And uh, I hope that the jeans that I'm wearing right now in a couple years will be in that zone. So uh, I do like high contrast. And I think it also it looks really nice when you have that light, light blue because the highest contrast part will basically be white. Um, how many trade shows do you attend per year on average? Um, it depends. Usually six, six. It could be six to ten, but it depends. Um, we we've kind of reduced the amount of shows that we go to, um, but yeah. So right now we're at around six. We do New York, Vegas, and Paris. We used to do Berlin. Um, we used to go to Hong Kong. Um, maybe we would go to Hong Kong like once a year. Um, we go to Japan twice a year, but not for trade shows. Those are for, uh, for, for work, uh, uh, like production stuff. Um, we go to Thailand usually once a year for a big denim event. Uh, and then uh, we go to Toronto or Vancouver or, you know, Seattle. Uh, we'll visit uh, some retailers out there. We try to visit as many retailers as we can. Um, we are a, I mean, I've, I've mentioned it before, but we're a pretty small team here. So uh, even leaving the office for a day means uh, there's a lot of stuff to catch up on when we get back. So it's kind of hard to get out and about and uh, run everything at the same time. But uh, we, we try our best. Um, how do you size in the Japan Heritage cap and how do I account for shrinking? Um, you know what? I actually have that cap and I washed it hot, dry, everything didn't really shrink that much. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, if you're, if you're going to, if you're going to wash it, uh, just, you know, wash it and hang dry it just to avoid as much shrinkage as possible. But 
I mean, I, I put it through a torture test and uh, it didn't it didn't really change. Um, I think like when they were like pressing that cap um, or like maybe in production, maybe there was a lot of steam and it, it kind of shrunk the fabric already. So uh, there's not so much to worry about there. How do the kimono shirts fit? Any new ones coming? Uh, yeah, we have some great kimono shirts out now. Um, there's like a Boro patchwork one that's really, really nice. Um, that one's my favorite one of the season. Um, and how do you size? You just size your normal size. So if you wear a medium, get a medium. Uh, they're kind of like an overshirt style. You wear it over top of a, you know, a shirt or a t-shirt. Uh, so it's a uh, very, very, very cash piece. Uh, hello, hello. Someone's saying hello. Uh, uh, 30 talents, uh, last batch Monday, or will there be more batches in the future? This is the last batch for the foreseeable future. Um, the factory basically just did a, us a, a favor. Uh, I don't know if they will uh, make another batch of those. Again, they, they don't like making those jeans. Uh, they're very, very difficult, and it takes a lot of time for them to produce it. So uh, uh, that might be it. Um, where did the Paul Rose brand name come from? I thought those offerings were quite nice. Well, Paul Rose, uh, that, it, that the, the name comes from uh, Brandon's grandfather. Um, uh, he, he, he was Paul and uh, his, his wife was Rose, so uh, Paul Rose. Uh, and it, it was Paul Rose as a brand uh, was kind of a, a pet project uh, that, we, that we kind of went through. Um, that was a tribute to Brandon's grandfather when he passed away. Uh, Brandon's grandfather kind of being the patriarch of our uh, of our company. If it wasn't for him, uh, there would be no Naked and Famous Denim. And uh, so when when he passed away, we found some kind of old artifacts uh, from back in the day, and we we made a, a new kind of modern interpretation of that. Um, while we don't produce Paul Rose products uh, brand anymore, um, it kind of morphed into what the Mij series is. Uh, you know, just a kind of top spec uh, product um, without any compromises. So, uh, you know, the spirit of the Paul Rose products lives on in the Naked and Famous Denim uh, MIJ series. Um, uh, okay, a couple more questions. Um, will Neppy, Slub, and DBZ jeans Will Neppy, Slub, and DBZ jeans, will they release in tiers or will they release in the fall collection? So the fall collection, uh, the, the DBZ will come out in one drop. So all four characters, one drop. Uh, and then fall will kind of just ship out as it arrives in our warehouse. Uh, so uh, we'll keep you posted with release dates as we get closer to that. Um, do you have any collabs coming? Yeah, well, we have the Dragon Ball Z collab coming out. That's coming out this fall. Um, will you please do a yuku, uh, yukata robe for men like a longer kimono shirt? Uh, maybe. I kind of wanted to do like a, uh, like a karate gi or a judo gi. Uh, but, I mean, I don't think those are wearable outside of the, uh, the, uh, the dojo. Um, but a, a yukata would be a good idea. I wonder how many people would wear them. Um, I mean, they're kind of very specific. Um, but, but I do like making some of the like non-traditional kind of products. Uh, and, uh, I think, you know, people get a kick out of those. Um, when will the MIJ five release again? May. I can, I can tell you for sure. At, like pretty much end May. Um, on Sam Fry's denim this year, on Sam Fry's denim every year. Um, uh, Is a slub stretch denim the same for the different jeans like Ryu, DBZ, Beige, Weft? Uh, the slub stretch base is the same for like the Ryu and like the Goku and uh, the Cell, but the color is different. Um, is a metallic Weft uh, think silver, gold, etc. be possible in production? Yeah, and we actually did silver and gold metallic Wefts. Uh, like in our very, very first season for women, uh, very, very unusual looking jeans. I, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't think we'll, we're going to do those again. Um, uh, is that series where your passion goes, the ones without compromises? Um, like the MIJ, um, I love doing the MIJs because there is like price isn't an issue, uh, quantity that, you know, we do small production. 
um, limited edition, but we basically we're just trying to like hit it out of the park in terms of like what we think the fans are going to love. And you know, with Naked and Famous Denim, there is a there is a, a price point that we're trying to achieve. But like you know, you look at products like the Emperor of Slub or or the uh, you know any of our previous Mij series, you can put that up to any jean out there in the entire world, and it sits right on at the very top. Um, there's nothing like there's nothing we leave behind in in terms of what we do in the Mij series, and I'm very proud of that. And it's like it's it's a jean for a denim like a absolute denim connoisseur you know as people you know they 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 learn to make and denim and they start to learn more and more about raw denim um you, you start to i mean and that's why a lot of people like our seasonal options because you know your your, your taste for new and interesting and innovative fabrics starts to you know you, you start to, to develop that and uh with mijs it's like okay well if i want the rolls royce i'm gonna go for it and and that's what you're getting in the mij series um uh any chance to see sakura stretch salvage uh, back again yes so uh this is anyhow now we're i'm cheesing too much but uh we're working on something for spring summer 20 uh and you will see uh something like that back again it, it's gonna be i i i think the It'll be a new construction base. There'll be a lot of new details that uh, you've never seen before. Uh, and uh, I think they'll be very special. Um, and I look forward to showing them off. Um, I will have, I'm supposed to have the fabric sample arrive in June, July. So uh, I'll be showing those off in the summer uh, for sure. Okay, well, guys, um, I'm gonna call it a day because I gotta call it a day. Um, thanks so much again for joining me on another Friday live stream here. I'll be back again uh, next Friday. Next Friday is Easter and our office will be closed. So I won't be in the office. Um, I may do a live stream on the Thursday um, or maybe I'll, I'll just uh, do one on the Monday. Uh, so, Tune in for that. Um, in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the DMs. I'll try to answer them. I, I, I promise. Uh, I, I, I promise to try. I don't. I don't promise to answer all of them. Uh, but if you have any specific questions, definitely hit me up here in the next live stream. Thank you guys again so much. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. If you're catching this on the uh, YouTube replay, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. All right, later, guys. Bye.